Dr. Fred Alsop wears a lot of hats. On one hand, he oversees the ETSU Eagle Cam project, and he is also heavily involved in the new Johnson City Railroad Experience Museum. And this morning, Dr. Alsop is here with an update on both of these unique projects. Good morning. Good morning, Chris. It's not every day that I get to talk bald eagles and trains. Okay, <laughs> but we're going to yeah. we're going to cover this today. Let's start with the Eagle Cam. We had a bit of an issue during Helene with one of the Eagle uh, the Eagle Cam sites uh, basically crashing to the ground. Yes, yes, we did. So many people lost so much during Helene. Yes, and our eagles lost their nesting tree that they had been using for 15 years. Mm. It snapped off about uh, 30 feet from the top, and. Uh, the birds were, are already back and uh, we're getting ready to start recycling. And we're actually showing some video right now. Y'all are building a brand new platform, hopefully that they will use to build a new nest. Yeah, bless his heart. This is Brandon Bragg. He and our IT guy, Borsi Lazaroff, and the property owner, Eddie, all got together last Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And there's a big hickory tree nearby and they are putting up an artificial nest platform had birds actually flying around them and one stopping and looking. So we've got our fingers crossed right. that uh, our birds will will start we'll right take where up we residence left off. Right there, yes. So we're, we're calling this rebuilding for the future. Right. And the eagle cams are so very popular. I mean, people yeah. check in on those when the eagle's there, check in on them every day. We have been doing this for nine years now. This will be the ninth nesting season. Mm -hmm. And we have cameras on a pair in Bluff City. Right. Th that pair got through okay. And our pair down here has had a little bit of a problem, but we're hoping that we're helping. But you're right. Yeah. We get a million hits a year on these cameras, and it's all over the world. It's not right. just Tennessee or yeah. the surrounding area. A lot of people are interested in eagles. Absolutely. Because I think for a long time, a lot of us never saw an eagle in the wild during like the, the 60s and 70s mm -hmm. and the early 80s. And then the, the, through conservation efforts, they've come back. They've made a comeback. DDT was a spoiler in the mm -hmm. 1960s, and a lot of eagles laid eggs that had shells so thin they broke under the weight of the incubating birds. So it has been a real success comeback story and uh, a lot of artificial eagle nap nest platforms were put up. And we got in some of that business, not with artificial, but our birds came back here with five or six pairs of bald eagles nesting in the Tri-Cities area. So we're keeping our fingers crossed that they move in over there. We, we are. We, we've provided a new home for them. We're keeping our fingers crossed and I'm sure a lot of our viewers are sitting and watching yes. uh, those cameras. One of our cameras survived, uh, the one on the nest tree didn't. So we're up and running and we're broadcasting 24-7. All right, very good. Keep your fingers crossed there. Now yeah. we're going to fly to downtown Johnson City. Yeah, we now. are. A little transition there. Yeah. But let's talk about the new Railroad Experience Museum downtown. Uh, the George L. Carter Railroad Museum was on the campus of East Tennessee State for 16 years. And unfortunately, the building we were in, one of the oldest buildings on campus, mm -hmm was slated to be removed. So after our big train show in June of last year, we started packing up and six weeks later, we were in storage. Uh, with the great help of Jenny Brock, who is a friend to almost everybody in many places in town, uh, she located space for us in Sam Taylor's uh, store. He had decided to give up his his furniture business. And we're taking a look at it right now. Yeah, we got about 8,000 square feet there and we're gonna oh, wow. grow some more. We opened to the public last Thursday uh, on October the 3rd. We had planned to beat our chest and have a real fanfare, but we felt that was really inappropriate with all the devastation going on. So part of our proceeds uh, are going to the relief efforts. And if we have families from the affected areas, if they'll just tell us when they come in with their kids, they come in free. And it you know, we, we talk about bringing the children to this museum, but it's for everyone. It really is. I mean, if you're a train enthusiast, this is perfect opportunity for you to come in and experience something like this. You're exactly right. And part of what we're doing, downtown Johnson City would not have existed without Henry Johnson building a water tank. So the, the new railroad coming from Knoxville to Bristol, the trains would stop and take on water. And the rest is history. So we're bringing some of that history back. To, right. To Johnson City and it's not just model railroad layouts although we've got some spectacular yes. ones there's lots of railroad memorabilia there are lots of information posters about people working on the railroad including the importance of women on the railroad uh, and we also have a lot of hands-on stuff you can drive a train we've got simulators where you can do that you can watch real trains anywhere in the country 
because we've got an area there where we're broadcasting live. You can hear the conductors and the engineers talking to each other. There's a lot of hands-on right. stuff to do. So we're much more interactive than we were and much larger it than we were. It sounds like it. We hope to get down there soon yeah. and bring our cameras and just uh, showcase this new yeah. this new uh, area right here, a new museum right here in downtown. And we, we become a new name, yeah. the Johnson City Railroad Experience. Experience. And you can find us easily online by just putting in johnsoncityrailroadexperience.org and right. find out a lot about us. We're open every day except Sunday and Monday. All right, Dr. Fre Dr. Fred Awesome, thank you so much. Thank you, Chris. Let's give you Johnson City Railroad Experience right down the street here on Boone Street. Give them a call right there. Check out jcrails.org for more information.